All right, guys. So welcome back to one other episode of House of Ashes. You know, I've been thinking about this game a whole lot. I actually went to sleep really early yesterday. As soon as I finished recording the first part, I just went to sleep. I just woke up and here we are again. What I really liked about the first part was the game went really, really deep into the origins of this curse, right? How this king had cursed his temple. Obviously, when we played the preview build, none of it really made sense where, where did these uh, demons come from and stuff like that. The first episode that we saw previously here on the channel made a whole lot of sense and it kind of connected everything together. And then, of course, fast forward thousands of years later, we have this American military searching for a weapon of mass uh, weapon of mass destruction and then we get some sort of unexpected earthquake happen and the whole squad alongside with another Iraqi soldier who seems to be a good person as well which is I, I feel like there's gonna be a really really hard decision coming forward in the future of this story everyone gets swallowed into this temple and now have to deal with this curse we also find out that in the 1940s, approximately 50, 60, 60 years before, there was a, a group that found this temple. And unfortunately, they all died. We also got to find out a little bit about their, you know, exploration and findings. Um, these creatures appear to be some sort of like oversized bat, if you will. They're also very, very uh, fragile, I guess you can say, against sunlight and... Um, we died okay one person died we killed one person i don't want to spoil it but if you guys haven't seen the first episode i was really upset about it because we were so close okay in that last second we lost that soldier and i was really really angry at myself for that but i'm talking too much thank you for being back i hope you guys are enjoying this game this game is phenomenal and um let's do this all righty Rachel! Where's Rachel? Where is she? Rachel! <laughs> what happened to Rachel? We, we were ambushed by the enemy. They opened fire on us. <laughs> Rachel. She fell. I held on. I held on as long as I could. Rachel! We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. I don't think she's dead. We need to fall back now. Over there. Let's go. We, we've seen this before. Oh. Yeah. She's not dead. Look at that. Neither is the doctor. I don't think so. Sorry, I just, I, I just don't buy it. Slow down. You can still be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. Mailman to one actual to all call signs. How copy over? Joey, report in over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh no, not Joey. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some damn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by. I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Demons. Monsters? <laughs> Come on, you're jumping at shadows. Sure. With all due respect. Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, 
take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's hmm. a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. All right, so I don't want to be on his bad side. I want the group to kind of get along here, so... I understand. Understood, sure. We should move on. Oh, God. Stay and guard the entrance. Go check it out. All right, repair the generator. So who took out the generator? We just repaired that shit. Make sure there's no surprises here. Could it have been the demons? So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for hmm. Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. Well, realistically speaking, if 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 these monsters took out the generator, I don't think I don't know, I think that would have been like blown up or chewed apart or something. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. I need a hand here. I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's bag. that wasn't the demon. Ah, that's this fuckhead. Ah, shit. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Oh my god. Stay alert. Drop kick. This is mailman two one actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Drop kick down. All right. So locate the intruder. Search the ruins. All right, asshole. What the hell are you doing up in here trying to prank us? You think this is a prank call? Oh, not not a prank call, but a, a prank. You think what this you is think? a prank? Floors. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> He's gonna bust out with that. It's just a prank, bro. All right, we got a book here. Gods of Summer by Franklin. Let's see what we read here. Ah, oh, that's a whole lot of reading, man. Get ready for your ears to be broken, okay? Eternity eating dust? You gotta be shitting me. All right, so Lamasti. Well, we'll just pronounce it that way, okay? It was a terrifying she deeming a murder of infants who feasted on the blood and flesh of men. She is most commonly portrayed as a hairy lion-headed monster with bird's feet, who often kneeling on a donkey, a serpent held in each hand, and a dog and a pig suckling at her breast. Lamasu had seven names and was referred to as uh, re referred to in incantations, incanted, incantation, incantation. Wow, in incantations as the seven witches. She was responsible for many evil deeds, a bringer of nightmares, a poisoner of rivers, and a herald of famine and disease. So figure four on the left there, it's a belt buckle found in the tomb of an Akkadian priest. Now figure 4A on the right side, a belt buckle detail. So this is about the buckle itself. Lamastu was the daughter of the Akkadian sky god Anu, father of gods and demons. Hmm. Uh, and the god of earthly kings. Anu was most often depicted in a horned, um, in a horned headdress, while his Sumerian counterpart, and was depicted as a great bull. In the Mesopotamian religion, bulls were frequently seen as a sign of strength. The belief passed on to later Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cultures. For Greek philosophers, the bull's horns symbolized the horns of dilemma, an impossible choice which no right answer with no right answer the gods of summer certainly presented no right answer for the sumerians they were at once kindly and cruel and petty fallible and supreme wow 
Oh, Jesus. Secret found. Notes in the margins of this book suggest that the temple was built over the gate to the underworld. The Sumerian underworld. Pity the pauper who was buried with the, uh, with the little. Their afterlife would be shabby and poor. Those who died unburied would have no life after death at all, but would simply cease to exist. So the doorway to the underworld was gray, was the grave and the Meso Mesopotamian peoples of the Sumerians through the Akkadians would be buried under their homes or nearby. The well-to-do would even build chapels or shrines to serve as burial plots. Once buried, the Sumerian soul would travel a road to the Sagros Mountains in the east where Utu, the sun god, rose each morning. Here was the entrance to the underworld, where Otu rested at night. A staircase led from uh, the entrance to a series of seven gates. Catacombs? A newly dead soul would meet the god Neti, the gatekeeper, who at each gate would unbolt it and relieve the soul of some of its burden of offerings until it arrived naked and powerless in the underworld. A temple built over the gates to the underworld? At the, th uh, at the threshold, the spirit appeared before... Eresh Kigal, the goddess who ruled the underworld, who pronounced them dead. The scribe Gastinana, oh Jesus, would record their names. That's a lot of steps, man. Just uh, recorded their names. There were no rewards or punishments here. Rather, the dead lived accordingly to the offerings they gave the gods. There was comfort for wealthy and a hard existence for the poor. That's some BS, man. Fig A, example of a typical votive statue. They often depict worshippers, not gods, and come in a variety of shapes. Oh, that sucks. Interesting. I love all this mythology, dude. Fucking awesome. But I think we're clear here, Nick. Let's keep it moving, huh? But we keep it moving now, soldier. Huh? Watch your ass. Somebody might tickle it. And I'm not talking about me, okay? I'm, I'm just saying. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. This way. Oh, oh my oh. god. Watch your step. Can't drink a soda in peace. Wire. Yeah, that was placed there recently, 100%. Looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah, just need to cut the trigger. Hmm. Wow. Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. He's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> it's messed up, man. I'm, I'm just saying. It's messed up. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Oh, no, that's to move forward. Not going to do that. Hold on. What is this? Star map. A clay tablet bearing uh, some form of arrangement of stars. There's a catalog labeled to it. Catalog labeled post to it. What is, what is this here? I saw something else glowing. Oh, premonition right here. Who the fuck was that? Well, that looked like, that looked like Eric. I wouldn't be surprised if this place takes dead bodies and possesses them. I'm telling you right now, I would not be surprised. 
April 2nd of 1946, we've assembled our team. Top of my list was unintelligible. So, can't really read it. Crow, the bulldog of Ohama Beach. We found him in, a, in Cairo, brawling uh, for money in a, uh, in a Levant, Levantine drinking club. Crow recommended uh, unintelligible. And in Haifa, we picked up my assistant, that always inquisitive Aline Jernieu, which insisted on the presence of her own advisor, Alice Van. An archaeologist who I know uh, only from Unintelli unintelligible, which we can't read. Our team is complete. We shall head to Lebanon and f from there by train to unintelligible. Okay. Wait, let me see if that letter has something in the back. Hold up. Oh. That is friggin' awesome. Wow. Crow was the first to break into the tomb. Okay, so that's exactly what the guy said. We don't need to read that. Wow, that's fucking cool. So obviously, like, we knew this already from the last episode. They were looking for a different tomb, but they found this one. Which is, hey, it's still just as, a, as good of a find. Probably not ideal, because we're all gonna die. But hey, it is what it is. Oh man, I'm nervous. It's been too long without any demons. It just don't look right. It don't feel right, man. He could be waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just mm. now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. Bro, he's dead. We saw him. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue him. Good. Mm. I'll lead the way. Oh, God. L let me take the lead, man. I no, got this. I'll take the lead. Got this, man. I'm a savage. Come on. Not without me, you don't. Oh, God. I like this guy, man. Oh, Lord. Salim. I like him. Can I tell you, no. I'm going to go with you. لازم يكون في طريقة تانية من هنا. لازم يكون في طريقة تانية. Alright, so. Uh, what the fuck? It's alive, bro. It's alive. Look at the hand right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up, player. Hold up, player. I said, hold up, player. Damn. Okay, there's nothing back there. Got it. Fuck. What is this? A wallet? Whose wallet is this? 
God, this game looks so real. Oh, it's uh -huh. his wallet. Oh. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, man. Fuck. There's nothing else here that I can... Bro, that shit's gonna grab me. Oh, God. God. He's gonna grab his foot. Whoa. Bro. Bro, don't do that. You need to back away. Salim, you're gonna die, man. You got a son. Guy's fucking crazy, bro. Oh, I told you, man. Whoa, my boy's adrenaline made him jump like Spider Man. <laughs> it's injured. Oh, the. Bro, that shit looks crazy, bro. That's the premonition we had right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. Oh, these are different the different people. Oh shit. Oh, these, these guys are gonna die. They're gonna fucking die. Over there! Bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, dude. I thought it was going to be these guys, like Eric and Nick and Jason or whatever. Wow, this man. Well, we got lucky we got an injured one, you know? If not, we would have been, we would have been dead for sure. All right. Got a little light here. There we go. Wait, there was light over it. I, th I saw something glow this way. I'm sure of it. Oh, I saw something glow right here. Am I going crazy? Bro, I, I could have sworn. I saw something here. But on the ground, maybe? Hmm. No 
Okay. Maybe I'm hallucinating myself. All right, here we go. Oh, another one of these things, huh? R19. Let's be putting the shams. Let's see if you have the light on. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. Oh my god. Oh god. Well, those things are weird as shit, huh? The Sand Caverns. Check your corners. Still here, Joey? Locate Joey, stay I alert. I need to tell you how to do your job, but well, you're gonna anyway. Check your weapons, check ammunition, and check again. Pay attention to detail. Carelessness will get you killed. <laughs> Bro, let me do my damn job. You understand? Corporal Gomez, this is Dropkick. Do you read me? Over. Oh, God. Oh! What? Oh, he's probably the Joey's. one for the. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. No fucking way that dude's alive. You were with Lance Corporal Gomez, right? What actually happened to him? That's not Joey. Keep it down, Colonel. He died. Whatever's out there now. Sure, Shin and Joey. Well, in battle, these things are often difficult to judge. What's that supposed to mean? You could have been mistaken, Sergeant. Hmm. Restrained. Bro, I'm annoyed. I right know now. what I saw. Oh my God. Okay, that was good then. We good. just have to hope he's still alive. We've lost enough today. I'm sorry, sir, about Rachel. Is that so? Kolchak told me you people called her the queen bitch. <laughs> Not about me. I knew her better than that. Oh. I was banging her, man, you understand? I banged her. Stay focused. Don't let this place fuck with you. Wait, did Eric go the other way? Hold on. Check your sight lines. What, does this guy go over here? Stay focused. Watch each other's backs. Oh, I think we're supposed to go that way. Yeah. Okay. Don't let this place distract you. Stay focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta stay focused. I got it, man. Stop talking shit. We have to find Corporal Gomez. Okay. It's definitely this way. I just wanted to make sure I'm going the right way because. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. Oh. This is dropkick to all call signs. Sound off. Over. Inspect. This is mailman 21 actual to all call signs. Radio check. Over. Is that blood? Something really fucking nasty went down here. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. You said that already, Jason. This fucking place. I, I don't, I don't, I'm scared of inspecting that other place and then fucking actually going down there with Turn the, the rope. Fuck up. All right, what do we got here? Seventh of December, nineteen forty-six. Our finds have been so spectacular 
I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. Hmm. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Hmm. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. Hmm. Like what, huh? Alright, so this says uh, October 23rd, so this is prior to that. The catacombs beneath the temple are heaped with unintelligible... Okay, so we can't read that uh, word. Aline has worked sacrif uh, sacrificial digs in El Castillo, but even... She hasn't seen unintelligible. Unintelligible kill thousands in the name of their gods in charnel pits as though the slaughter was a plague or a cataclysm. Demanded such a price, such so much. Whatever happened here uh, millennia ago, it is unintelligible. Okay. What the hell did they find down there? Another premonition. Whoop de doo! That's Salim, right? No, we're not gonna shoot him. He's a good guy. He's good. Unless this game's screwing us over and then he has <laughs> betraying these guys. I don't know if I should inspect. He's close. Alright, let, so ins let, let me inspect this. Let me inspect this hole. Okay. Again, the reason I, I was waiting on this hole is because last time we inspected and we just went down with the rope. So. Deep is that damn mole. Saw fishers like this back at the temple. Best guess is the quakes open them up. Let's just keep going. We know what we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty. Stay frosty, baby. Stay frosty. Tick tock, Nick. Bro, where, where, where? <gasps> come Oh, on, come on, man. Hmm. Yeah, bro, we're, we're being played. Blood. Hmm. Nick found Joey's medical kits in the tunnels. I don't know, man. Come on. Wait. This is Mailman sure. Q1 Actual. Joey, do you hear me? How copy? Over. Wanted to make sure there was nothing missing, but we're good. Here we go. I'm calling it. It's not really him. Not be alone. This is a perfect place for an ambush. Let's keep it slow and tight. <laughs> it really is. No, double time. Joey needs us now. We gotta hurry. Joe, that you? Hmm. Man, what is going on? Intense. Get in there. Take it slow. He's right. Advance with caution. Uh. Motherfucker shot Shit. us. Oh my grenade. Mailman 
Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, no. 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. <laughs> Mailman 3 to Dropkick. Colonel, are you there? Over. Oh, no, 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 shit. No. Oh, man, come on. What are you doing? Hello? I wasn't going to shoot, but he started shooting me, so I had to shoot him back. Come at me, Saka. I'm going to blow your brains out. Oh, blow your fucking brains out. This game's like no other as far as like the other anthology games. It's more like badass, like, you know, fucking soldier get up in there and... And we're not really like, you know, sitting ducks. Like, oh my god, I don't know how to fight. We're in a cursed town, we're gonna die. You know, even though we are kind of in a cursed area and we're probably gonna die, but we have tools for the trade. Oh shit. Oh my god. <gasps> As a demon. Bro. After you, Superman. If you don't do what I say, that thing will kill you. Or I will. Okay, 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 okay. Oh god, somebody's gonna die here. Fuck. does it now come on don't get fucking crazy with it ah uh, salim 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 oh god this is so freaking nerve-wracking right there bro that's nuts being that close to that shit
Wow, so there's a way to kill him for real. Oh, holy shit. Oh, God. I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, bro. What Ooh. the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? I don't know what they are. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be home with my son. I hear you. Family's everything. I should have never come here. <laughs> It's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. The only thing keeping me going. Um, poor guy. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K, Sergeant. Selimos, man. Lieutenant. Elohi Army. Hmm. <laughs> Why'd he put that shit in his back? Shukran, <laughs> Mailman two and actual to mailman three. How copy over? Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Ah, oh, shit. Your friends better not do anything dumb. Ash has got to cover. Listen, you gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. Oh, God. Please. Please. All right, good, 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 good. Drop your weapon now! Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, everyone, take a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Don't make a mistake, you're gonna regret, soldier. Put your gun down, now! No, you lower yours first. Drop your weapon or we will fire. Are you hearing me? Drop your weapon now. I didn't come this far to die by a trigger. Happy American. Okay, enough. There's no point in fighting. Not anymore. I ought to put one through your Thank fucking God. Skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Put your weapon down, man. Head him back to the temple. Tie him up. If he tries anything, put him down. Look at the gun there. What the hell? Oh, God. After all we've been through? Thanks a lot. My God. You were right. Hmm. What the hell is that thing? Makes your anus pucker, don't it? <laughs> Hey, you two boys do this together? Of course we did. We fought it together and we won. Jason, we need to talk about this guy. Not now. This plan's a bust. Whatever the hell happened to Joey, he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Nothing's not dead, bro. <sighs> I don't know, man. <gasps> Bro, that shit moved. Oh my God. That thing moved very subtly, but it moved.
suit yourself. Bro. Drop off its head or something, Why don't you tell me everything you know about these creatures? Have you seen them before? Do you know where they came from? How many are there down here? I hope you are a believer, brother. When those things come back, you're going to need higher power to pray to. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. Hmm. Let's get a move. And we'll now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. Oh my god, you are crazy, dude. You're gonna get killed. Slowed him down. Long oh, enough to God. spot them on the cameras. Ah, right, so they're putting cameras there, I guess. Okay, for surveillance. Smart. We should reset that chirp wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. Hmm. Always got your back. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Hmm. <clears throat> that tripwire is gonna fire on us, bro gonna hit us back I don't know how I feel about it this is something else you think I wonder how many places like this we bombed without a second thought these relics are better off in the dust what's your problem these people didn't ask for this war Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. This is about the girl at the checkpoint? <laughs> Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. Wow. That girl's death is getting under your skin, buddy. Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Isn't it getting under yours? Mailman 21 Actual, this is Dropkick. Request update, over. 21 Actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished, over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the Eastern Corridor and be on your guard, over. <laughs> I hear you, over now. Approximation: The creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, wing wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased, almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ. I have a feeling These people that die. Those things must have come through here in force. 
Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind? These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again. Those are probably people that die and they, they, they mutate into that shit. Who knows, right? I mean... That's what I'm thinking. Kind of like Until Dawn. The Wendigo where they, they kind of... Mutated. All right, fortify the temple. Shit. Let's get down to business. Going deeper and deeper into the shit. Gotta love it. Oh, this is the room where we had that standoff in the first episode back in like the year 2000 something BC. With the guy. Yes. Oh, shit. This is it. <gasps> Whoa. It's the closest I've been to hell. Definitely it. Hundred percent. There we go. Do to deserve that. <laughs> Killed by a stake through the heart. Wonder if she was churning, as well. I don't know. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? Hmm. I don't know. Buffy. Who? <laughs> Buffy the Vampire? Maybe you should hold on to that. I don't know. Okay. Never know when you're going to need a sharpened steak, right? Interesting. Interesting. Intelligible. Okay, so stank of death was littered uh, with unintelligible enough to be covered in flies. Crow things down here after robbing them. I pity those hapless wanderers. The fear they must have felt unintelligible. This was not what he wanted to show us. An earthly unintelligible. When Mary asked what it was, Bradshaw nodded to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. I was actually I've, I've been waiting to get to this part of the part of the game for a while because I remember this is the room where we had that face off What the hell <laughs> Looks like he's been drained dry It's gotta be one of those explorers Yep Fucking hell. Ooh, premonition. What? You see, I told you she's alive, man. She didn't even die. We just saw it in the premonition right there. Talk about spoilers. I, I knew she was going to be alive. 
we came from. Alright, so what we can do is we're going to go straight. We can look in here. Fuck. Why would you spit at the dead people? What 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 have they done to you? <laughs> Freaking asshole. You know, I feel like the game also would have been more more like I, I guess scarier if we would have played this as the explorers. Because the explorers didn't have guns and dynamite and well, they did have dynamite and guns, but they weren't, well, they weren't soldiers, you know, so they're more, like, susceptible to, like, dying or being scared or whatever. More crap. Would you find? Oh, remember this? Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. The cylinder seal depicting an ancient city. I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. You have no idea how much money that is. that's probably worth. You are an absolute moron. These people are finding like ancient, ancient artifacts and they're just like, ah, I don't give a crap. <laughs> like, bro, what are you saying? You not want money or what, man? Well, you probably want to survive more than anything else, but I'm, I'm just saying you could make a good chunk of money off of this shit. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? Hmm. We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're hmm. more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wire up the middle. Let's go for maximum coverage. Wire up the middle of the corridor. Let's do it. We gotta make each one count. I, I, I'm honestly not sure about. Uh, that was really fast. It just fucking. It made me choose really, really fast. I barely had time to think on that crap. And hear your brain taken away. What is it? Oh, we just had the premonition. Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man. I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. So here's the thing, we just had a premonition. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Hmm. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, Maybe it's what we deserve. So we had the premonition of this chick. I don't know whether there's a there's a rifle back there floating. You know, Obviously, and Rachel. Are you serious? <laughs> Been three weeks. Bro, that's bad. That's bad. That was the bad idea. The thing is, we Drop need a patch in this game. Two and actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Mount a camera here, and let's head back. 